Mike, we're going to do our NFL predictions now, just in AFC, NFC. We'll do the AFC first, and we'll put our predictions for the Super Bowl in the NFC segment, so if you people out there are watching. <laughs> uh, AFC, I'm glad football's here. I'm excited for it. Um, I think the teams that didn't have a lot of changes with coaches, with a lot of free agencies, might come out of the block a little bit quicker. That seems to make sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, sure. Veteran players, uh, guys who aren't changing schemes, uh, guys that aren't relying on a lot of uh, rookies and that kind of thing. Sure, you would think they would have an advantage. I, it's possible to overstate those things, but you would think. I think, San Diego, that the only change I see is they finally have uh, Vincent there at the beginning of the year. This guy's been holding out and fooling around. Mm -hmm. Malcolm Floyd getting back to being healthy. You got Gates healthy. Then I think San Diego has come out of the gates slow the last couple of years. Could be a team that could be very strong in the AFC West. Uh, watch for them. I say this with uh, teams that are staying together, but the Broncos had a coaching change. But I think bringing in John Fox could stabilize things from a wacky thing that you know Josh McDaniels had going. I hope you're right, Starkey, and, and but they, I don't see much evidence there. I I, see, you always have one. You always have one team, Mike. I should have told you ahead of time. Think of one team that it was bad that becomes good again. Mm -hmm. I could see it be the Broncos, just because defensively mm -hmm. they made some adjustments and they've tweaked some things. And if you have a good defense. You can make up for the offense. I think they're going to go with Orton at quarterback. Tebow is the third quarterback. Right. Uh, I, I, right. I, think, I think they run the ball more. It's more conservative. And I think no Sean Moreno could be good. That's a team to watch for. And the Texans, I think, are finally getting it together. Yeah. As, as, a, as a team, I'm going to say, up-and-comer, you know, right. in right. the AFC. Uh, you know, you look at the, you look at the AFC. I, 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 teams other than the obvious ones, we know New England's going to be pretty yeah. good. We know the Steelers are going to be good. We know the, the New York Jets are going to be a pretty good team. Uh, other, other ones, uh, I, th I think San Diego is uh, a team that went 9 I, mean, I agree with you about San Diego. 9-7 and seven last year, uh, one of the best, at least statistically, maybe the best quarterback in the league, and, and, and uh, outscored their – they were like third in the conference in point differential last year and somehow went 9-7. and seven. To me, that's a team that, that has a chance to be one of the real elite, one of that group that I just mentioned yeah. that, that, that isn't right now or, or wasn't. I like Houston, too, and I think the big news in that division is that Peyton Manning is probably now in decline in physical decline. He's got this neck injury, and that may make it more acute decline here in the short term. But I think in the long term, this is a guy who has, who has been, I think, as valuable to his team over a 10-year period as any player in the history of the NFL has ever been. I really do. I'm not sure how good that football team ever was, except for him. He's practically coaching them, at least on the offensive side of the ball, as we've said many times. So I think that, I think that is a significant thing and maybe opens a door a little bit uh, for Houston. So th those are yeah. teams that I, I think maybe other than the obvious ones we know are going to be there. Baltimore, to me, the Ravens are uh, they're a little bit like <laughs> they're a little bit like the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA. I think mm. they're kind of stuck where they are. Joe Flacco is an average NFL quarterback, but he's a young guy who's been pretty healthy. He's their guy. They're stuck with him. Uh, defensively, they're, I, I think Harbaugh is a good coach. I don't think he's a transcendent coach. Uh, the defense is getting older. They, to me, are kind of kind of stuck where, where it's going to be difficult for them to get much better than they are. I don't think they're quite there. So, so that's, I guess that's the AFC. Yeah, I agree with you. I think Pittsburgh is a team that didn't have any much changes at all. It's going to be in that division. Whoever beats each other up, the lead, you know, comes out of that division limping. It'd be the Steelers or Ravens. I don't think they both make it this year. Pittsburgh would be Texas. Pittsburgh would be Exhibit A of of the what you were talking about teams that that should yeah. be able to go into this and 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 keep rolling despite the lockout and all the truncated training camp and all that stuff. 